For this 90 Sports Nostalgia video, I want to talk about a player that I couldn't stand as a young baseball fan, but wound up really liking and respecting in Darren Dalton. My reason for not liking one of the toughest players in the 90s, it began in 1992 and Gary Sheffield was having a triple crown caliber season and I really wanted to see a triple crown winner so much. Now from what I remember, Sheffield for most of the season until September was leading the NL in home runs and batting average. Then there was the RBIs category and I saw Darren Dalton as the biggest threat preventing Sheffield from getting the triple crown. So from what I remember, I think Dalton was leading for most of the year in RBIs, but anyways by a thin margin, or Sheffield and Dalton may have switched spots as the season went on, but I never liked Dalton because I saw the former Phillies catcher as Sheffield's biggest challenger for the RBI title and Sheffield's triple crown. I remember reading the box scores, checking to see if Darren Dalton had any RBIs while hoping Sheffield would be the NL RBI leader. But in short, Sheffield's production went down in September which included a broken finger very late in the season, and thus Sheffield didn't win the Triple Crown. Now looking at the numbers, Sheff, he won the batting title, but didn't win the home run title, as Bonds was incredible in September, and Sheffield's teammate at the time, Fred McGriff, he led the NL in home runs. And then I do want to mention that Sheffield did in fact happen to lead the NL in RBIs, with 92 going into September by one over Dalton. But Dalton finished with 109 RBIs, which was first in National League. And although others moved ahead in RBIs, I always for some reason saw Dalton as the one who ruined Sheffield's Triple Crown, which you know was extremely ridiculous to think at the time. But that's why I didn't like Darren Dalton was because of the 92 season, and I wanted to see Sheffield win that Triple Crown. Sheffield, he had that entertaining batting stance, while Dalton had his boring stance. But in truth, Dalton, he had a very beautiful swing. So enter the 1993 season, and the Phillies, they made it to the World Series, but lost to the Blue Jays. And around this time, I thought Dalton, he looked like the meanest person. And he was on that 93 Phillies team, who looked like the meanest team. But anyways, that 93 Phillies team, that was a team I really learned to like later on. But for the 92-93 seasons, Dalton, he was the best hitting catcher. And back then, especially 92, this was tremendous offensive production, especially coming from the catcher position. And Mike Piazza, he didn't have a full season in MLB until 1993. But moreover, Dalton, he was tough while also catching more than 140 games in a year. But Dalton had numerous knee operations and wasn't the same catcher as his games played were decreasing after 1993. But then, in 1997, Dalton was acquired by the Marlins in a trade. And it was strange seeing Dalton first being part of the 93 Phillies and then coming to the Marlins sporting teal uniforms, which was a popular color in sports at the time. Nonetheless, Dalton, he played first base in South Florida, still having his trademark haircut. And Dalton, he started Game 7 of the World Series at first base, batting cleanup. What happened? Dalton won a ring with the Marlins, along with Gary Sheffield. And that was the end of Darren Dalton's career. But as time went on, I started to learn more about Darren Dalton. So the stories are numerous about Dalton's leadership, being down to earth, a caring person, how people gravitate toward him. But the one story that got my attention had to do with Dalton Varsho. When I heard the name Dalton Varsho, I wonder if that was Gary Varsho's kid, and wonder if he was named after Darren Dalton, which in fact, in this case, both were true. So Varsho in 1995 was his eighth major league season. He was mainly a reserve and a pinch hitter. He was gonna play his first season in Philadelphia. Not sure if he was gonna have a job. Then in short, later on, Dalton called Varsho, invited him out for dinner, as Varsho was amazed for someone with the status of Darren Dalton to include a newly acquired reserve outfielder to be part of the team. That impacted Varsho. Due to Dalton's impact on Gary Varsho and their friendship, Gary and Kay, Varsho's wife, decided to name their son Dalton after the extremely popular Phillies player. Then there's a story that I want to point out about Kevin Stocker, who was a rookie shortstop on the 93 Phillies team, mentioned that Dalton always had time for him and never made him feel like a rookie. So to go along with all these stories about Darren Dalton and his friendship, being a caring and loving person who's down to earth, I really respected how he treated his teammates and never put himself above anyone else. From a personal standpoint, at times, it was hard trying to fit into a locker room. If I was good enough to play in the major leagues, I would have loved to have been teammates with Darren Dalton instead of someone like Greg Maddox and just Google Greg Maddox pranks, which they weren't really pranks for more context about what I'm talking about. But Darren Dalton seemed to be a tremendous presence on and off the field. Sadly, in 2017, Darren Dalton passed away after a four-year battle with brain cancer. And of course, the stories began to really pour out about the type of person that Dalton was. And as for me, the silly sports fan in me as a kid didn't like Dalton because of what happened in 1992, but I'm glad I was able to learn more about who he was 
as a former Silver Slugger winner, became someone I really respected, and for those in Philadelphia or baseball fans in general, was Darren Dalton a really down-to-earth person? And what are your thoughts about the man who wore number 10 for the Phillies and was a huge part of the Marlins winning the 1997 World Series? Thank you so much for watching this 90 sports video. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, check out the links below like Patreon. Thank you so much.